minute sheep are coming in with the folding chair. Why am I broken? I'm a broken man. And I'm in with the folding chair and I forgot to capture the game. It's what it's. I'm exhausted and the day has barely been going. Oh boy. Wee. Waking time. Alan Wake, more like Alan Woke. Um, Alan Wake, more like Alan Sleep. Alan Wake, more like Ah, Len. Cosmetics? You kid. He has the folding chair, but for what purpose? Oh, he's gonna shove it up his ass. <laughs> Alan make wake more like lead. Al, al a LAN party. <laughs> Woo. A landslide victory. Where we were. Wow. Back to the beginning. Is that Alan Wake? We all come to a story with Is hopes John and expectations looking up, for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, You're a shit writer. All ripped to pieces along the way. No, shut up. <laughs> shut up, Chief. <laughs> this is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. I'm sorry. In a horror story, there's only monsters and victims. Are you What? Am I gonna get TOS immediately? Baby Yaga gave Alan a magic typewriter to write his wife back to life. Okay. Just keep facing that direction. Yep, that that way, Heather. I'm not about to be TOS. <laughs> Hang on, let me get the creative box out. Where is it? There we go. Uh, we'll set that to this and then we'll resize it. There we go. There we go. And now I'll put that there. Beautiful. Excellent. And now if we just head back into game. Oh, that's fucking phenomenal. I'm so good at my job. <laughs> I better be getting the streamy this year. Oh. That's fucking fantastic. Actually, with that there, you know what I could do? I could just dub. You know, I better not. I better not. I better not. Realize that is not helping me. Let me just uh, expand that. There we go. All right, it's TOS if I turn around. <laughs> Makes it seem more sus. What do you mean more sus? There's a fucking naked man who just washed up on shore. I'm staring at his bare ass as he's walking down a fucking beach. Transformative. This is educational. It's okay, I got away with showing cock on stream that one time because it was in scorn, alright? I got away with showing cock on stream that one time because it was in scorn. I'll get away with this too. Is there a nudity saying?
Have some keyboard controller gameplay assist. Uh, it's not TOS. It's not, but still. Ooh, I like a lot of subtitle settings. Witcher Free is allowed. The Alan Wake. Hang on, I just gotta know something real quick. Hang on. <laughs> Bear with me. Oh, the game is stopping me from looking at it, actually. The, ga the game's fighting me to not look at this dude's cock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see like a little bit of bush but then like he starts turning am I going that way? am I ascending? I mean Alan Wake 2 strangest intro to a game I played recently I'll tell you that much now we can't rate it. What, you want to dick rate this dude? <laughs> Look, I'll remove the sensor box just for you guys, okay? There you go. What do you want to look at the gross men's penis? I think we just got jump scared, but I missed it because I was thinking about cock. <laughs> Can't scare a hoe. I've seen worse from dudes. Oh my god. Bad <laughs> Yaga can't frighten me. I'm busy looking at strange men's booties. You can sprint. Oh, well, that's gonna help us along, isn't it? Hello? I'm making spooky noises. Yeah, be considering. Excuse me. I'm missing the jump scare again because I was trying to look at my feet. I'm barefoot walking through a forest. I'm gonna get callous to all hell. This man's sweaty bag. I think he's moist, not sweat. Actually, it's probably a bit of both. I don't want to sound rude, but my man clearly isn't getting the right amount of exercise for what he's going through. I don't want to sound rude. I'm going to be rude. Uh, Empire's prohibited. Leave no trace. Did I get jump scared by something now? Hello, lovelies! Yeah, I kind of figured. Oh, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm being shot at, they're doing quite a poor job. Are they pursuing? Oh, yeah. Hello, love. I can barely tell what's happening. <laughs> Ooh, sacrifice! Uh-huh. Why do those all just ink blood tests? Every jump scare is just an ink blood test. The answer is too bad, high five. The answer is too bad, high five. Button now. 
My heart. A red. So how's that BPM done? Oh, it's Rusty Lake. Uh, sorry, all American lakes look the same. <laughs> Guys, we just got Alan jump scared. Heck it up, go home. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm You've sorry, a Velociraptor? I haven't gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Oh. Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. Live action cinematics. And watch with Interesting. Me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. Aldrin Lake Camp. I will. You're closed. Bye, kiddo. Are we the for bye? Logan thinks you should try cheering up. Who the fuck is Sam Lake? <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Fucking god. The synchronized coffee sip. This is just proof that all federal agents are robots. That another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. Hey, yo. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Sam Lake mentioned a fourth time. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I had a hammer. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. Oh, we are a federal agent. We're like turbo class traders. Let's go. Deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. So, I got this hammer, right? And I was using it to build my IKEA BB earlier. And uh, it broke. And uh, it, it just snapped in half. And I'm sat here, like, wielding the hammer shaft in, like, my spare hand. Like, I, I wonder why this broke, but, like... Does this sound like solid wood to you? This is, like, part hollow. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> A bad hammer? This is a shit hammer. I couldn't kill a guy with this. I could try. But another thing. Do you know who Alex Casey is in the first Alan Wake? I'm gonna be honest, it's been a hot while. A long hot while. A steamy long hot while. There's the car. So where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear. Did I just jiggle I'll the car? That map. Oh. I should take a look at that map. Right, I should take a look at that map. Are they just gonna let me leave? Alan wrote detective stories, bad ones. Alan Wake strikes me as a shit fucking writer, I'm not gonna lie. Hello, hello. Thanks for the achievement. Mm -hmm. Sorry, which is her? Which find a station? What?
I wasn't done looking at the fucking map, but all right. So, the, sub, the conversation hey, decided here. it would keep her going without our input, so. Hey there. Oh, there we go. I have to hold it down. Okay. We are here. That's the side road. Mm -hmm. That's rental cabins. Very cool. Bony legged path. Your home in the pines. Cretinous. <clears throat> That's general store. Very cool. That's witch's ladle. Uh, far from the witch's hut. Guess she's not making any potions tonight. Crow's Foot Hills. That sounds like a cool location. Aldrin Lake Shore. Oh, we were there recently. Let's see here. Streamside. Alrighty. All of nothing, then. Hello, darling. I'm in charge here. Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that... Funny you name. Know, that, uh... Where's the goddamn bitch gonna show up, Mulligan? Federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton. <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? That Joe Swanson? Uh -huh. Like Stephen King's cock constantly. A lot of people do that. I I I don't think Stephen King's books were that good. Bold, bold take. I'm sure. Uh Yeah. Any witnesses? That that'll be useful. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. Cool. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Oh, not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. Leave this dickhead. I like how detailed his face is. Don't look at me like that. How much can I invade your personal space? Because I'm really making pains to do so. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Getting to that, Thornton. Time for work. Good luck at work. Well, we reckon there are some uh, <laughs> organs that are currently outside the victim's person. Oh my god, say that the fucking extract the you fucking know, organs. Inside. Is this your first day on the job? I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence down the hill towards the lake around the old convenience store you can't miss it everything's been closed since the area was fenced off I like the, the store physics. the campground all of it they got it thornton no no i really really did want to read that sign oh Location is close to the public by order of the FBC. Is that a control reference? Aren't they like the Federal Bureau of Control in that or something? Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Ooh. Wait, I have a mind palace? The mind place. A, pa a place. I was about to say, shall it say? To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Okay. The facts are on the board. I make a coffee in my mind place? When I pluck the claw? Can't zoom in on that. 
look at him now. A comfy ass mind house. Mind palace, except I'm dyslexic, so it's mind place. That's the wine. Confidential. Again, that looks like the FBC, like, logo. Don't know why they're letting us come all the way over here. Everything we know about the previous murders. Okay. Worth taking another look. I'd love to. Okay. Alrighty. The victims. All victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities. Hi, Maxie. Ted Lane, dentist, stab wounds, bloating, bruising on the wrists. Wendy Davis, teacher, body bloated, large chest wound. Lassie Wolf, store owner, bruising, heart removed, strange tattoos. So we got the commonality of bloating bodies there, and some bruising, bruising around the wrists. So that's like an implied struggle going on there while they were restrained for the murder. Gotcha. Dentist. Reported missing in 2010, discovered in 2012, buried in a shallow grave. Okay. Wendy Davids, found in Cauldron Lake 2018, some organs missing. Station state the body does not match eight years spent in a lake. Some organs missing. Okay. That's a common thing to tell. Stab wounds, bloating, bruising. He was just stabbed. Okay. Two weeks ago, a chest wound was ruled as cause of death. Tattooing on the body is illegible. Potsy Wolf, store owner, bruising, heart removed, strange tattoos. We've got a store just down the road. What if Alan wants to sleep? We should go to bed, then, the sleepy little guy. I'm doing, I think I'm doing good. Murder method. Okay, here we go. Slight differences in murders. Bloating only commonality in bodies. Not the cause of death. Chest trauma. Exposure to water post-mortem. I was going to say that myself. Wait, post-mortem? So they put them back in the lake. Bruising on wrists and legs. Who the victims had bruising? Some form of restraint. Strength or belted down. Deep gash in the chest. Heart missing. Sounds like the most recent one for sure. Most recent victim died of chest trauma consistent with 2018 victim. Hard to confirm due to condition of body. So she was like barely recoverable. Gotcha. Pulling up the corpse was indicative of drowning, but only one victim was found in water. So somehow all these guys are given to the lake or something in 2010 and they come back and then they're sacrificed. Victim 3 was covered in illegible tattoos, a message from the killer maybe, or that art. What to tattooing? Or just ritual? Murder targets have no discernible common traits. After going missing in 2010, the victims have nothing apparent in common. The killer may be a sportsman or hunter, chest drummer resembles animal butchery technique. I mean, that's a really weak way of saying that, like, this is... It, this very, very clearly seems to be ritual killings, but what, what, whatever, whatever, I guess. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill. Oh, that's smooth. Fucking nature. Gives me a headache. It's too much sky. Feds, man. <laughs> hey, 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 what the, what the fuck is this, man? Don't act like this isn't important. We're right next to the fucking crime scene. There's this clearly man made structure. Okay, whatever. No, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you just come back around. You fucking fart around like an asshole. Hey, Casey. Don't you investigate. You're putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a 
better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. Uh -huh. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm hmm Real funny, Anderson. We're an FBI who does really good FBI work, which probably means we've assassinated at least several people. Where will we win Kennedy? The stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. <sighs> to jump down. That's the CIA? Wait, what did the feds do again? If anything. Mirror Peak, the mighty mountain in the distance, is none of, no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. <laughs> FBI only frames people. Uh, drugs, but that was also partly the CIA. Oh, okay. Man, you can never just play as a CIA agent in these games. Except for Beyond Two Souls. That's one of them. Mighty Mountain in the distance. Oh. In case I can't read. Gotcha. <laughs> That's gonna come in useful later if some asshole writes in cursive, I'll tell you that much. This guy should really have taken us to the body. Instead of guarding one random fuck fence. you gotta do to close down a campground. Not How much so that it becomes this overgrown. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Destroy your life's bureaucratic ways. Okay, so the CIA is underhand and the FBI just sort of like Damn. does the system ways of doing things. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did. Next coffee's on me. Ah, uh, these are not good shoes for this. General Stoll. I think these guys are constantly yelling, otherwise we might never have fucking found them. What up, dweeb? Hey! Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Okie dokie, artichokey. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hmm. So now that I think about it, this is kind of like uh, continuing the, event, the events of Alan Wake 1. Like if all that shit happened in like 2010 and stuff's just sort of happening from it. Uh, does the UK have any counterpart agency you need to worry about? Uh, the MI6. Yeah. Shootouts with the mob? I almost ended the up UFO working for them. Up. And by almost ended up working for them, I mean if I was born in London, I might have applied for a job with them. Let's just see this body, shall we? Yeah. Hey, uh... This is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now, he didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Oh, boy. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Hey, buddy. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Our outside of body. First key image placed in the case board inside the mind place. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? 
Ooh. A body has been found in the woods. At Bright Falls. Perfect timing. Let's see if this is linked to the killings. We're here to investigate. with previous murders. So what about case as? Oh, the previous murders. Cute. Nice. Yeah, all of the victims have bloating. Step one. Examine the corpse. I'm examining. So obviously there's, you know. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Bound up? What is that? That looks like the sort of stuff that they use for stretchers. Am I wrong? Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding cargo it down. Cargo straps. Okay. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Alrighty. Let's add him to the case board. Major chest trauma. Consistent with previous murders? Yes. Stramps hauling the body down, also consistent. Nah. Organ being removed. Same killer. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. The open question and look to deduction. Okay. Stop tutorializing to me, I totally get it now. Try to match his previous cases, but interrupted. May find some new leads this time. I mean, I feel like our best information right now would be to ask people about it. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. I... The victim died here. More than likely. A boot prints. Did we bring the clay kit out here? This could be useful. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Okay. What else we got about? What's the deal with this fucking crime scene tape? Abysmal. It's littering. Hmm. Someone was drinking beer. They spent okay. time here. Waiting. Someone left in a hurry. Knock the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Alright, let's see. The victim, the killers. Well, we do got multiple sets of footprints. That's gonna help us out here. Every blood splatter on the table, that's the victims. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Made a mess here, caught up in the act of just sloppy work. It's of activity here, it's unlikely our killer was working alone. Alright. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. What? He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. In 2010. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Ah. Oh. Okay. So this was a character from the first game. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. 
After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. He's been missing since 2010. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Oh, it's quite a line. So... I, I feel like this should be a really huge deal back at FBI HQ. You have three people who all disappeared at the exact same time. Now you've got a fourth. And they've all shown up dead throughout different points in time. Like, this guy just showed up, been missing since 20... Like, where are these people being held? So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Hmm. Mention one of them was part of the Bureau? I that's everything. For now, at least. Yeah? Not sure. Need to think about it. I need to do thinking. Be quiet. I'm going to my mind place. I was... Robert Nightingale. I apparently went up the deep end, so they fired him. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. A bit questionable at time of disappearance. We meditated or spontaneous. They had a fucking tripod. Sure. And they were drinking. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? When I'd start suggesting an investigation of all the people who disappeared in 2010. Yeah, no even, even in just this day. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Like people Feel still missing. What they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Okay. Nightingale. Ritual murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off, but somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. Uh-huh. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. She's just magic. I mean, the visions are concerning. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Green. Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Huh? How can we know that, though? That feels strange, right? This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst, Mom. Gee, thanks. My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. Well, you fucking pranked your daughter? Oh no, wait, Casey, your assistant, dudeman. If only the rest of the Bureau knew what a softy Casey is. Miss you, kiddo. I'll be home soon. Nah, we're probably gonna die out here. Mom may be gone, but whenever I read this, I feel like she's still here. 
saga. For what it's worth, I think it's important that Logan grows up seeing you do what you love. Be a great aunt. That'll teach her so much. There'll be times, just like this, where you question your choices. Your competence, even your own sanity. When things get dark, remember to trust and love yourself as much as your family does. I'll be perfect, but I know you'll be amazing. Love always, Mom. Alan Roman's story is an antagonist. He was highly paranoid that he kept finding papers detailing exactly what was going to happen. So he arrested Alan and then the darkness ate him. And we've just found his body. That prick's still writing. I'm better deal with his ass. High strangler case. Proud of that one. Serious? Certificate of Meritus Achievement to Agent Saga Andersons. Victim came from Aldrin Lake. You can feel that Nightingale came from the lake, but why now after 13 years? Where's he been? You know, like, understand the implication that you're making there? The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. You can eat the heart if you want to. It's not like actual evidence. This is one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. Was she making that, that intuition? Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly nude. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds. Strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. And that seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Oh! Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. There's a hole in the witch's chest on the poster. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of owl murder. Hmm. There's no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape. And yet, there are many mysterious stories about the lake being a gloomy doorway to the underworld, or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. Legend tells that when the affections of local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned. But her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named the Witch's Ladle. Whom returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With a heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. Okay. Pretty big tree. Kind of dig it. Oh, but that's so important. Get that. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Get that. Pick it up. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? Duh. They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. Come on. What does it say? Something was one of their own. Hey, that could be evidence. You're just going to leave it on the fucking ground? Oh. A page full of text on one side. Thank Not you. Not a out. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm Like a manuscript. A page of a story. One of many. Mm -hmm. Killer left a message. 
it's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Ah, we shit, with story words. characters. These words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here, someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept, even if they knew it would end up hurting them? Someone's been watching us. Fucking achievement sound. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Aha. Uh -huh. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Got missing else here 13 years ago. Now he had suddenly turned up, only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was the page. This page. The first page that they had found. Not the last. The first step down into terrifying depths. Secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words. These words. Felt like a message. Was a message. Someone knew they were here. What they were doing. Someone playing a game with them. Leading them on. An invitation. How could they not accept the sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them, even if they knew it would end up hurting them? He has had 13 years of doing nothing but sitting in that room. I'm going to be straight honest with you, I think his writings got worse. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I okay. must find out what. Well. Gloomy ass fucking place for real, for real. Can you stop giving me tips now. <laughs> I'll figure it out, game. I'll figure it out. No, why are we going that way? Didn't we want to go to the beach? Beach, let's go all the way. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Said you wanted to go to the lake, and now you go. You, you just both backing up. Oh. Oh, has the tide come in? How does that work? This isn't the ocean. Can't go any further. Water's too deep. The rain. <laughs> Forgot how rain works. <laughs> well, less action in the first game. Plus, one now had already got a torch and a gun at this point. And he was fighting a big tornado, man. What about this? We got a witch's hut. Small campgrounds. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Okay. Friday. He showed me that today her family are moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Wants to stay in bright fucking falls. 
So I told her. She said thanks. Fucking kill me. Snuck out last night again. Went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here. Like I always do. I just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm gonna go find out what. I'll go back there tomorrow with better gear. Maybe I can find a way inside that building. Take some photos. It's gonna be epic. We got epic. I'll just be taking your shit now. Is that a kid's lunchbox? Oh. An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. So things can be a little crazy about here, but if you ever feeling sketched, remember, Alan is watching over us. Ah, manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the mind place. Really? Alan's watching. Alan loves us all. Uh. <laughs> A weapon upgrades by the kitchen. Cute. Warm. Alan Lake? Alan Lake! Yeah, yeah. Hulu for Alan. I like that. Do that again. Yeah. Do it again, do it again. Now close, now close. Go on, go on, go on. Which is hot. Here lived the witch of Cauldron Lake, but where her spirit may still haunt this place. Yet yeah, somehow I doubt it. I'm a federal agent. Okay, I can't be scared of no witches right now. Please open up. Ah, fuck, now I'm in a haunted witch's house. That rope kind of sucks. What is this, it? Oh, this is how I remembered some crazy bitch lived in a spooky house. She might eat you. Honestly, to leave that kind of impression on the world show would be great. Another path up there, but it's Closed off right now because of the flooding. It's the crime scene, but there should be something down here, too. Interesting. Yeah, path's closed. Anything on the path? I'm opening myself up to the idea of exploring around. I don't want to miss no clues. I'm a fucking dick. Dictative. Warm. What's that red? The bat red. Map does not have a legend, I'll tell you that. Okay. I mean, hey, while we're already exploring, might as well get really far out of the way. Nah. No phone box for me to interact with. Hey, Casey. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the ridiculous. A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. 
Okay, maybe we can get murdered this game. Doctor can't save you here. I'll simply become the doctor, it's fine. And we got Mortar Falls. This powerful feat of nature will revive the spirit as it does the surrounding nature. Oh man. That, 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 there was better ways to frame that. Now you just got nature twice there and it feels weird. The churning grinding waters at the bottom of falls resemble a mortar and pestle, quite like the one the Witch of Cauldron Lake is able to have used to travel through the night sky. I'm sorry, she rode on a mortar and pestle? How does that work? A lunchbox again. Who's leaving these out here? My dad used to say when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Not sure where the tough get going to, but maybe you'll find it in spring. Weird. What Baba Yaga flies in? I'm gonna be straight honest with you, I thought she just had the chicken house. I don't like how in Atomic Heart there's just an old ass lady based on Babushka. Baby Yaga, and you can just fucking, like, she has like a fucking flying house, it's great. It's just, it, it, it's dweeb shit, it's real dweeb shit. Uh, we came down this away. What's that red mark? Oh, the path's blocked off. Gotcha. Oops. Yeah, no need for us to go all the way around. Not gonna do that. We'll head on back to Casey now and uh, check things out. My incredible detective intuition will wait until later. Later, I tell you. Remember, FBI stands for Fat Booty Inspector. And there ain't none more qualified than me. Can really get wedding made. Witch and Alan Wake Baby Yaga. Wrong country for a start. She's a Slavic myth. No, yeah, she is a Slavic myth. So it, it, it is weird for her to be in America, but like... Maybe, maybe she got that call for the new world in her and she was like, ah, I'll go over here. Just realized we're in the ad break, BT dub. Uh... Any script pages, profiles, case board. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. Any unknowns doesn't make sense, asking the wrong question. Angel came from the lake, but why now after 13 years, where's he been? Dead end, literally. Like he walked through a boulder, doesn't make sense. Anything else here? <sighs> like this weird color shit. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Freak. What's going on here that I'm seeing? Need to examine the body properly. Back in town. Hill is watching us. Game on. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I would be so fucking, like, thrilled. Oops. About, like, being watched by a serial killer. So I guess we didn't notice that the left-hand part of this road here was blocked off too. Am I getting a sense? I'm absolutely getting a sense there's loot down here, baby. You kidding me? Between two blocked roads? How could there not be something for us to go and look at? There's another lunchbox. Let's go. Remember, 
It's just a bad day, not a bad life. But if you're having a good day, ignore this whole thing. Okay. Just that little fucking, like, collectible treasure troves in this game. Gotcha, gotcha. I get a puzzle of having to shoot these things as well as, like, a fucking Resident Evil style collectible. I'll, I'll die. I'll die. Check inside the Jenny store. You can, and I will. Everyone's having a good day, by the way. God. I'll tell you who's not having a good day. Is he a boy? He's dead. Monday, 9 out of 3. That isn't what. Some suspicious activity spotted. The fielder thought he saw movement in the bushes, footprints around the area were found. Some were compromised by the fielder. Self trained the fielder. Tuesday, 9 out of 4. We're getting closer, but it still doesn't work. Time to report some animals regular. Wednesday, 9 out of 5. Hunters out after dark. Poachers had some gunshots. I want to vans. Nah, these people get more than bargain from out here. Hi. Is that the Alan Week book? You and I. That nah, doesn't look familiar to me. Alright. And some cards going on in here. Another water cooler set up. Interesting. They left a lot of garbage. Not the fastidious type. I think that's a good bit of evidence. There's a fucking sleeping bag here. Are you serious? Oh. Well, that's the most suspicious thing here. Aside from the dead body. A locked door? What are you hiding? I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. Game thinks I'm wandering off again. I assure you, game, I'm wandering straight back. Alrighty. So cute, it marked the locked door. Okay. If there's anything we need to have a look at up there later. Hey, you made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flirting down there, huh? Just like I said. You need a drink of water, bro. Your brusty sounds I'll dry as around. hell. See you in a bit. Take your time. Locked. They really don't want people coming in here. Okay. Oh. Gotta remember, you, you hold it down to open the map. Kinda bugs me. FBC security perimeter gate authorized personnel only. It's the control reference. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Nice talking to you too. Hmm. Put my feetsies up till. Put it on my footstool. Alrighty. Did you get lost, Anderson? Shut up. I'm gonna jam my hand inside of this corpse now. 
that what I'm doing? Oh, no, no. We're going to do an actual autopsy. Right, right, right. My bad. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination ASAP. Well, sure. But the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Why didn't we take that already? Thanks. Thank Let's you get for your the time. Car. Don't get eaten Drive by monsters. Malls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Okay. So. FBC buzzer. Boop to boop. I'll go down there. That's also closed off. That was the tree. Uh, that's flooding. Boop to boop to boop. Got it. I might want to explore up here. You never know. Resi Evil style unlocking. Let's go. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Sheriff Breaker was a strong woman character. Let's we'll see what they did to her. You think they might have changed her? Oh, that's a very obvious big thing. And hey, 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 it's my favorite little thing to find in the forest everywhere. Another one of those lunch boxes. We're all in this together, hero. Have a heroic day. The oh, fuck? What's that weird negativity? Also, this says station. What the is this now? Wait, am I being led to believe that the FBC has been establishing themselves out here? Like a fun, like they're slowly like trying to push into this place. Like they got stations and stuff. Altogether yet, heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera to record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. We just have a fucking hand grenade in there. <laughs> mm, click. Okay, a little bit of stuff to explore over here. Back to the parking lot. Not gonna take my car yet. My car. I drove her. I want to walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. The rarest wildlife in the Pacific Northwest. Trying to make my way to Cauldron Lake. The fence was easy to climb over with proper gear and skills, which I thankfully possess. Next goal, spotting the rare and elusive orange crowned warbler. A little late in the season, but hopefully I can catch it before it begins its journey south. I've noticed intriguing behavior in the surrounding common bird life. They seem to be alarmed and swarm around the lake. No birds are praying nearby. There are some strange sounds carried on the wind, however. Nothing I can't recognize or explain. Nothing I can recognize or explain, even. Getting a little concerned I might have to find the spot somewhere safer. The sounds are getting closer. Moved inland. Foliage, foliage is stunning. Must come back in fall. I'd stop and sketch this gorgeous vine maple. Just that the way the Metush Met Metusla bird hangs off of it. This is why trees are better than people. 
Speaking of people, saw some drunk guy staggering around the forest earlier, acting weird, maybe drugs. Can't my distance, should probably find another spot. So annoying. First saw that weirdo guy, decided to change spots again. Up the mountain a bit, found a fantastic overlook to camp at. But I'm more interested in this Alaska onion grass. Invasive, but edible and surprisingly tasty. Started hearing wolves or wild dogs or something like 10 minutes ago. But it sounded wrong. Freebies? Leave, but the sun is going down and my stupid phone is dead. I'm gonna hide in the tent and hope they go away. It's really not right about this place. You're a fan of the Temple of Doom Kali Marcian? Man, I, I look back at some of the plot lines for the Indiana Jones films, and some of them were kind of like mid, and it was that one. <laughs> Like, I couldn't tell you a thing that happened in that film, aside from that. Based Ent Lover. You want that trio C? Guess who's not getting in the car with you, Casey? I'm getting flashbacks. Remember Ohio? Sure. The North Side Slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. But I could just do a little walkie walk around. Now, seriously, would that be any point? We never came up this left bit. We might have a little. A little just a little. Wait, didn't we? No, we definitely came up here. Definitely. That's when we met Sheriff Wass's face. We never went up to the rental cabins or anything. I can just right back around after. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Yeah, no, the game's gonna let me explore. I'm go I'm gonna explore. Yeah, we'll take care of that for you. Don't you worry about that. Proper police work. <laughs> you can trust us like you can trust the um uh the blossoming checker lilies in spring. That was beautiful, Thornton. Okay. We already looked at that. We'll go. We'll go have a little peek at the cabins. Again, we might get evidence that we we, we won't be picking up later. That other world might repopulate if I visit here later. As in, like there might be more shit here. Unlock two is a geocaching game confirmed. I thought the point of geocaching was you were supposed to leave something else. I need something to cut this. Like a proper bike lock. Also, I could definitely hop that fence. The thing about me in real life when it comes to athleticism is like... Say that this didn't exist as something I could clearly climb over, right? One step, two step, foot over, drop. I could get over this by going one step, reach up, two step. But then when I get to about there, I don't know how to position myself, so I think I just like throw my body over and tuck and roll. Like I'm gonna I'm not gonna land like heroically, I'm gonna land like on my side and probably sprain something. Like I'll get over the fence, but like it, it it's gonna be weird. Hey, I said Cauldron Lake. Rampage at the rental cabins. Unidentified men attacks vacationers in a dead of night. Sunday, an idyllic evening of barbecuing and late night fishing was violently disrupted. Saturday is a mysterious assailant attacked park vi ah, 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 ah. visitors, causing chaos and destruction at the cabins. The incident left three people injured, one of which has been admitted to the country hosp county hospital. As to whether the attacker is still at large, Rifles police have yet to make an official statement, leaving local residents of in a state of uncertainty. This is to the crime, visibly shaken, one of whom stated, One minute we were laughing and toasting some marshmallows, and next we heard screaming coming up from the cabins. Didn't know what was going on, so we called out to the police station, running in the opposite direction. Said Cartmel. Another eyewitness, who's preferred to remain anonymous, said, Like he appeared out of nowhere, suddenly my dog starts barking. 
head up at the psycho guy comes crashing through the trees. I don't think I'll ever feel safe in the forest again. A representative from the rental cabins who chose to remain anonymous wanted to rem remind customers. If you have plans to stay in our lovely cabins late this summer, please get in touch with us as we may need to rejigger some of the reservations based on the state of the cabin that you had rented with us. Representative went on to further remind future and potential guests the wonderful amenities that can be found in their company's brochures and on the website. Which is real nice. State of the art. My nephew made it and he's a real computer whiz. Do orienteering. Did some hectic shortcuts down cliffs through marshes and stuff. Kinda cool sounding. Missing Doberman found on the trail. A heartfelt reunion took place this weekend when Miss Amanda Smith was reunited with her beloved dog, Coffee Bean. I always judge a dog's name by how dumb it would sound yelling it. Or like an, any any animal name. Like, I'll, 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 I'll be sat there and I'll be like yelling, Robin, Robin, come here, Robin, come here, Robin, come here, girl. And then like my cow come over. But like if I had to sit there in, in, in like my backyard while my dog was running around and I had to call it back indoors and I had to say, Come here, coffee bean, come here, coffee bean, I'd feel like my neighbors were judging me. CB is the owner refers to him. Well there you go. <laughs> poo poo to me, I guess. Has been missing for three days, and Miss Smith was afraid that she would never see her best friend again. When I got to call, I couldn't believe my ears, she said. I must have asked, am I dreaming? At least seven or eight times. It's actually nine times, confirmed Ranger Stevenson. Man responsible for finding the wayward canine. How do you get to give those kind of call those call the uh, those kind of calls? And I feel really grateful to have had the opportunity. Of all the practices out there, usually you're telling folks that you found their dog's dead. They can't see him, you know. And so I felt real good to give some good news. Even if Coffee Bean is in kind of a rough shape, the fire will grow back. Sure, but Wow, well, I suppose that's all I should say about that. Come here, cockwumble, come on. How's there so much news in this small-ass town? There's a hike a day, keep depression away. It might be bright, sunny July, but it's never too soon to start worrying about the gloomy months of autumn ahead. That's right. In the grand scheme of life, those dead, depressing days are right around the corner. Have you been taking your vitamin D? Probably not. Before all of you thinking, there's got to be another way. There's good news. Hiking has just been proven to be incredibly beneficial to your mental and emotional health. So get on out there and do it. Just don't forget. A flashlight in case it gets dark. Hey, let me sippies. They didn't cite a source. Rifle's own virtual baking champion. Little Sally Upton's whole family erupted into cheers when she won the big match this weekend. Was she playing soccer? Tennis? No. In this brave new world that we live in, her family was cheering her on as... She won a match in a game that exists only in the information superhighway. The game in question was Mega Baking Star, in which players compete to make the tastiest treats and the sweetest eats for their virtual judges online. Rifles congratulate Sally on her big win. They got eSports players in town? This is what that news reporter recently felt when she was like, Get a get a, go outside to that kid who won Tetris. Pyre area is inside a caldera. This hole used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Calderas are pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. Close you enough. got it. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. <laughs> On Tetris, isn't that an infinite game? So the OG, like, Tetris, uh, as I understand it, uh, there was originally, like, old ways to beat it, which meant, like, if you got to a specific stage in the game, the pieces would fall so fast that you basically couldn't win. I'm not done here yet. Oh. The NES one? Yeah. 
it, it, the pieces got so fast you couldn't win, but then people started like making a technique that meant so like if you hit the buttons like really really fast, you can still position the pieces, which meant that people could still keep playing. But then they were faced with the second challenge of eventually the color palette of the blocks became like really difficult to see, and they were coming down really fast. And someone did the maths, and they figured that Tetris would eventually crash when you reach a specific level. Or it has like a percentage crash if you do the right thing. And this kid managed to be the first person to make Tetris crash by reaching that level. Which means that that kid won Tetris. That kid is the first person to ever win Tetris. like a fucking like 16 year old kid I think and he managed to beat Tetris he beat the hardware yeah like there, there there's a physical limit to Tetris Good to see you still and we got to see someone beat it finally can be a dangerous place. I'm not allowed to walk down this road am I no way yeah there we go. And then there was this, like, news reporter recently who was like, get a job to that kid. And I was like, bitch, you fucking report the news. You, you don't do shit, okay? Fucking journals. I, I, I hate journalists. Oh, my I God. Hate. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. What the fuck? Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? What the fuck are they wearing? I'll park there anyway. Those oh, little marshmallow inside. dudes. Get a feel for the town. No, but like the NES version the of Tetris actually being the beat is pretty Should pog. Keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Coffee. I'm American. Ooh. I like the way you present yourself, Mr. or Mrs. Game. I'm not one to presume. Have you seen anything suspicious? I think that's what I thought. Damn mouth shut. Won't speak me. See, you got like the inverse of like people being quiet to you when you approach them, which is scam. Where if you're ten meters away from an NPC, they'll be having a conversation at you and telling you their out. backstory. Be right back. Got it. Oh. Oh, why'd you let me do this? <laughs> This feels unprecedentedly uncalled for. That concludes our debate on whether pets should be allowed at this year's bake sale. No. For those of you just tuning in, you're listening to the Pat Main Radio Hour, brought to you by Davis Family Moose Jerky. And boy, what an eventful Must day be in the north. in Bright Falls. By now, we've all seen the FBI setting up shop in town, and I'm sure you're... Don't fucking rat on me, Nark. Question I am. What is this? They bring all this darn rain with them. Yeah, just worry about the rain. Right the corner, and we're, all we're not here to do any crime, I promise. Wink. So, I reached out to our top meteorologist for a weather update. She never responded. But I have her uncle Tapio on the line from Watery. Tapio, are you there? Yes. Oh my god. Great. And Tapio, what kind of weather can we expect today? Rain. Yeah, that definitely seems oh my to be god. on the menu. <laughs> How about over the next week? Also rain. Right. 
Care to uh, elaborate? Any chance the sun will poke out in time for Deerfest? No. Well, Deerfest is coming, rain or shine. And that parade lineup is looking dandy as ever. Yes, I like this parade because they're one float in the shape of a swan. Only the best one guest, but no. Everything. A very large swan. <laughs> ah, so you're a fan of swans? No. <laughs> <laughs> They kind of did something for me. They tickled me a bit. Did we get another one? National Nightmare Phil. What oh, is that? Just music? Nice. There's my DMCA. Oh. I mean, yeah, this is just a spooky lake. Why would you live here? I need something to cut this. Yep, that key was never working. <laughs> Hello? Ooh. I've never had chainsaw ambiance in my game before. Chainsaws actively attacking me, yes. Okay. <laughs> fear for dark, fear for woods. Okay. Let me just get. I don't know, they don't let me check my fucking gear menu yet. Like, that's clearly a thing. Ah, there we go. Charm slots. Ooh. Pistol, handgun ammo, battery pack, shotgun ammo, trauma pad. Okay. Right. Neat. You swear the achievement sample shop during a sad scene. Oh shit, I'm so ready for that. I'm so ready. Oh. Yep, that's definitely some cult shit. Yep, I got the reports back. It's definitely cult stuff. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh I was about to shoot you. Thank you for having the common decency to say hi. I'm, I'm playing a game about investigating. I can't help rubbing myself against every wall Welcome in the environment. Back, Anderson. Okay, s fucking bitch. Welcome back, Anderson. Fuck you. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Any interesting guests lately? Any I'll be back friends? in a second. Zilla. Roger. But someone left to grow a surprise under their bed for housekeeping? They're nuts. So. That's what all that screaming was about? Either that, or the when couple guys on said their honeymoon. What happens in this town? You weren't kidding. Not on the surface, at least. Or in the public eye. Okay. I'm gonna get back to that one later, for sure. I'm gonna get to looting your town. The whole thing. Mercetta won't roll over on the issues. Better for me, or... Uh... I don't vote. Oh, it's French. I thought I said poison. Ah, oh, it's just one of those stupid French words that sounds like a poisson. Gotcha. One of those fake words. Can they give me a whole ass, like, small town to explore here? Much of it. Oh, quite a lot, actually. 
So this here's the station. Down by here later, I'm sure. What you nailing? Reminder, all entrants to the Deerfest annual deer hunt competition needs to register by the 15th. Okay. I'm guessing you won't let me go past this place here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, Saga. Time to get back to work. I'm totally working. I don't know what you mean. You never know where I might stumble upon clues. So, how's that mystery business of yours going? We missed you at trivia night. You did. How badly? <laughs> Stop avoiding the question mark. Okay. Mark is doing weird you know, business. I have been up to a little something. You know those urban legends about that cult operating in the woods? And a witch haunting the woods? <laughs> yeah, I know the scary stories to keep the kids from falling off cliffs and drowning in lakes. I think there's more to those stories than they let on. Well, maybe not the witch one. But there's definitely something going on. And I'm going to figure out what. Uh-huh. Okay. Not before I do, but... Okay. Hey, you've seen anyone who went missing ten... What are you doing? God, I love putting nails into my fence. This'll turn me around. Yep. This For certain. This can't be the right way. Mocking you with a hammer? What a fucking dickhead. I'll kill him with a rock later, it's fine. Okay. Definitely should be allowed in here. Oh my god. The police station's locked. Or would that be the sheriff's office? You call a sheriff's office a police station? Can you station a police officer in a sheriff's office? Yeah, he is waiting for me. Gonna be waiting a little while longer. I don't know why they even let me come up to this road up here. This is a nice looking store. I would shop here. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing up here to interact with. Coming up here was a complete waste of time. You never know. Complete waste of time, but you never know. Someone's got a clock tower on top of it, so that's either a church or a town hall. Hello, hello, hello. Fucking look at me like that. Honestly, a big park in front of it. This is giving me some town hall s vibes. The passage of time is deceiving. The days of our lives are fleeting, and they end in the end, they end. They are far too into whatever cult shit they're doing right now. When we get to the autopsy, it'll just be a skeleton from the time spent exploring. I'll be impressed if that's true. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? What the fuck where? Thanks for telling me. I couldn't believe how hard it was to track down these lunch boxes. Thank goodness for the internet. It is geocaching. Five fragments? Yoink. Tweet, tweet, my sweet. Little things. If not for the birds, I might just go a little nutty. A little cuckoo, if you will. <laughs> 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 you 
You should get out of this park. <laughs> it's a nondescript street that I am not going to be allowed to walk down, I'll tell you that much. I need to find my way back. Oh, is this the barge that the game started on or something? Well, this looks vaguely of the barge the game started on. Better for me. Setter is better. Setter is better. Better than who? We haven't seen anyone else campaigning. Is a bird lady like that where I live? Keeps track of every individual swan in town. That means I can't beat swans up in wherever your town is. We'll just know. Oh dear. Cute. Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my <laughs> I mean our float will be the bell of the ball at this year's Deer Fest. Just a few more days. It's a nice looking float for sure. This is my first Deer Fest, so, so I don't know what to expect, really. Today, it like. is the finest entertainment a town like ours has to offer. The happiest day of the year. Oh, like Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> well, I certainly hope so. How much have you had? <laughs> Not enough. That's how much. Never enough coffee. Oh, that rich, bittersweet nectar. Get in it, coffee. Man, it is sweaty and cute. Isn't it? Charlene, uh -huh. are you as uncomfortable as I am? You don't think the amount of I need bolt cutters. Beverages you've down has anything to do with it? I don't know what you're talking about. I always knew drinking uh, coffee was part of some weird cult conspiracy. Uh, now I've seen the proof. Can I knock this person over? Nope. Damn it! I can't do a single evil act yet. Hello, how's it going? The fucking hello at me. Jab at the collectible copy for our most flasks from the first game. That was a thing? I do not remember that. Ah. Did you get lost? There we go. Anderson. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome that to the Spank. Balls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Sure, Alex you Casey. showed us the right share. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no. The Bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Compare D's pants, Graham. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims? Why are you avoiding my gaze? Sure. Is that Jody Whitaker's doctor? It's slowed down ever since Calder Light was fenced off. That Graham? I guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. Huh. Hmm. I can't believe that happened. I still feel like I'm gonna be sick. I remember coming in this diner in the first game. Don't take your mind off things. Fuck is out of order. I don't think it only takes so much of the same song being played over and over. I was a big fan of coconut as the next person, but come on. Oh, is that a reference to the old guy named Odin who was like put coconut on? You know how touchy these rural types can be. Oh, he's dead now, for sure, right? For sure, he's dead. <laughs> Ain't no way he's alive. Oh, you just got some fucking deja vu. <laughs> Ooh. Old, please. I'm just allowed to let myself in. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. 
I don't know that you're allowed to just touch those. Or if you should. Yeah, or, or, or if you should. I need a tool to get this open. That Alan, Alan Wake comes into the bathroom in the first game, I think. Or he meets someone in the back of the place. And he's walking back and it's like, brr, brr, Gary. Or something. Alright. Potentially Excuse criminals. I'm Did you murder someone Anderson. in the woods? Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just saw guys fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? You're gonna do this in the diner, huh? So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Okay. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They, they were shouting, cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, oh. and then we found a... No, no. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. Then we found the what? Don't fucking hide things from me. What were you doing at Colgen late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research I hate on famous true crime. novelist Alan Wake who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. Okay. I must do this. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. Uh -huh. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. So she does just Why? have super powers. This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a murder. They were telling the truth. Okay. Oh, the lunch boxes are thing. Well, okay. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Alrighty. We're just gonna track them all, huh? It's just what we do. Better at keeping mental notes than I am, I'll tell you that much. Hey. Okay. 
Book is described multiple tankers wearing deer masks chanting and tearing into the guy with knives. <sighs> We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Okay. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. We are, we're it's just genuine that, sidekick me. powers. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter? That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. If you say so. Aww. Thanks, freak. Hi. A cult murdering a man is pretty extreme. Why didn't you tell the police what you saw? We did. We told those two idiot deputies they didn't listen. And they wanted to throw Ed and I in jail for that murder. You know, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. This is my case now, and no one is throwing you in jail. Unless we find out that you if did it. If you need it. anything else, just come to me. Got it. Rose was so happy to talk about that. Rose is a freak. And then Gil's body go to the sheriff's station. Oh yeah, autopsy time. Oh, wow, 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 you are. So Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. Well, that's gonna fucking make things annoying, isn't it? All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. Uh -huh. We're not going to find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? Played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Kind of a based line. Kind of fucking based. But that subtitle said D space end space D. Looks like you have some guests. That felt weird. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. I need to investigate a murder. Have a good one, Sheriff. Now, next time I play D and D, I don't know what I want to play: paladin or wizard. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? 
What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Yeah, but how did she know my fucking name? Actually, that makes her the most likely suspect. Hey, she boss, knew my name. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer hey, look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Get in there, Sheriff. I oh, dare you. I haven't station. done anything yet. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. I'll be right with you, sir. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket. Whenever you're ready to take my money. I want you stealing my toilet paper. I'm counting them, and there's an entire row missing every day from Stunk. Fifth is taken seriously around here. The sheriff station, for Pete's sake. One of these days, I'm gonna catch you right-handed, and you better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are. Kind of nut counts toilet paper rolls. Looks like you got too much time on your hands. Oh yeah, I haven't done anything yet, I think. They locked up an innocent man. Why? Oh wait, you're none of my business. I swear I didn't do anything. And toilet paper was a thing during They're the pandemic. True. I do it again. I'm joking. I never did it before. You got like enough guns around here. Oh man. Oh cute. Here I see. Sir, some patience, please. Ooh, Killer Joe, make some more. Part time, I come in for ship, and there's no coffee in the machine. Take the last cup you brew in the bench. Oh, uh, wait, I gotta write, read this banquets. <clears throat> but annual community outreach barbecue. Hey, gang. Annual event you've all been eagerly awaiting is upon us again. The community outreach barbecue. Now, I don't want to hear any grumbling. This is a valuable opportunity to connect with the community. Statistics show that officers who are well integrated with the communities they serve see lower instances of violent crime in their precincts, but more effective in their policing, and have overall better mental wellness. It's for your benefits, we'll take it seriously. Community voted drunk. The community voted drunk tank victim this year will be, drumroll please, Deputy Formton. Congratulations. Looks like everyone's getting retribution for that speed trap on 12C at last, eh? Friend reminder that anyone out sick on those days needs to provide a written doctor's note. Or you'll be assigned to night shift for two weeks. Anyone who replies at uh, all to complain about their assignment will be volunteering as the assistant. Officer Lightfoot's magic routine. Officer Lightfoot? Is he a fucking hobbit? You replenish? In this house, we replenish! Reminder, the front desk computer, an admin email not to be used to personal quarrels or other unofficial business, and remember to wash your coffee mugs. Since my numerous friendly reminders about not having personal packages delivered to the station have gone unheeded from here on out, if you've seen fit to send something to the station, I will see fit to announce to the station what you've received. Is it a federal offense to open someone's mail? Yes, it is. Is it a personal offense that I need to share my desk space with your late night impulse buys? Yes, it is. You have been warned. Admin. Yes, Officer Lightfoot, your beard oil is ready to pick up. Three, not your personal assistant. New Marcus bib is too soft to be natural. What brands are you using, Lucy? Riri, your personal assistant. Chet, I hate to break it to you, but you need to have a face capable of growing a beard to make effective use of beard oil. Thank you, cops. Very cool. What kind of shit ass room is this? Agent? At the briefing room. Your tax As dolls you know, at work. The investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. Sheriff Breaker wants us to cooperate fully. Aye, aye, ma'am. I'm being serious, Nelson. 
Nelson, don't make me slap the fucking shit out of you. These hens don't take prisoners. Oh dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. If only had a tour guide also. Bear season. Oh no, a bear. Help. <laughs> Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh, wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Me? Now, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. <laughs> but it's true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why, at Costco Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, Fuck the government! We have both cutters. Oh, uh, <laughs> Wait, hang on. I don't know that business. you can advertise and that. <laughs> we'll take you anywhere! Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Oh yeah, these are actual videos. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic. Mary. I remember there was a like credit for um IRL videos Tour or whatever. Of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a nine percent discount on this limited edition old oh dear diamond. Oh my god. <laughs> it's happening again. This is a comedy game. It's a slow burn, but it, it's a it, it's a comedy game. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform oh, examinations. Lord, Thanks yeah. for the subscription, Lord. You give it a five months of your money. I'll take it. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. Detective Casey is a bona fide freak. <laughs> Morning, William. Isn't that Welsh TTS based? I'm a sheep <laughs> and I'm Welsh. TTS is basically me for real, for real. You're just like me. I'm that guy, pal. I'm that guy. Hello? I can't get through this. In a really good mood today? I'm glad to hear it. I'm in a basement. Feeling snugly? Okay. That's a hell of a mood. Let's take a look at our patient. I'm about to dissect the guy. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. You'll ever see uh, the game Mortuary Assistant? That was a good game that I'm not playing. Oh. Must be lobbed from the other side. Alrighty, Idy. <clears throat> Here we go. What was the cause of death? Well, the cause of what death was clues can probably the body give me? Uh huh. They did leave something inside his chest. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. It doesn't add up. I that on the last sale day. Oh, have fun with that. Defensive wounds. There's a lot of different ways Good you can play that one. Want to play on the dead server? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Whatever. Wait. Is his skin becoming a canvas for the fucking stories? He's becoming the manuscript. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing.
Okay. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. What's the writing on the heart say? It is illegible words. Ritual writing. <sighs> Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. Oh. Bruises and defensive wounds. Didn't fight too much before he died, though. We definitely saw that happen. Bugs mind places reminded me a lot of the hotel and control. I should play control one day. I mean, I have it. I played a little bit of it, and then I, I just never picked it up again. It was alive when strapped down. The timeline is inconsistent with bloating. Guess what token? Something visible inside. I mean, There's gotta get in there. something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Going in, baby. It's gonna be paper, isn't it? Hmm. I'm psychic. It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Uh huh. Give me more, please, Mr. Allen. Hello? Sheriff? What the hell? Show me the clicker. Hey, that got me. script page was fucking foretelling. He's coming. No weapon. The page is set to get into the light. Like a reverse stealth situation. Being in the light, I can't be seen. He can't see me in the light. Kind of curious. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. Gotta move. Now. Okay, okay. 
okay. You got me there. We're on this really slow start and then suddenly, boom. Fucking sudden, just like, corpse rising up. And we get an actual intro from this, okay. That really lulls you into a false sense of security, that's good. It's, it's, it's just like, you, you, you're doing a like mystery, it doesn't feel like very paranormal, and then just that happens. You're in a morgue, sure, but you're in a morgue surrounded by cops, it feels really safe. You know? I, I, I didn't get the page at first. I, I Like, when, when she read out the page and I was like, what the fuck? What do you mean Hemingway hunted us? That, that hasn't happened. Like, he's dead. Like, were we here in the temple? Like, no, then it suddenly happens. You, you get, you're getting hunted. It's like, oh, that's what you meant. Like, okay, magic pages tell the future. same stuff in the first game. We'll tell a few details here and there in pages. It's, it's re I'm not wrong in saying that was like really well presented, right? Like ev everyone's ready for like the zombie rise up and then you shoot at moment in a video game. Like everyone's ready for the start of Dead Space 1 where the fucking like neck morphs hop down from the vents and they start killing people. Like, I'm geared up ready for, like, the big event that's going to kick things off. I didn't expect it there. Am I going to let this whole thing play? Absolutely. I'm impressed so far. I didn't expect them to make the game itself, like, all these years later. I'm trying to remember. Oh, no, I just remember. I was like... You had Alan Wake, and then the studio made another game before they made Control. What was it? The game was Quantum Break. It was the Xbox exclusive. I think it was Chris Pratt in the main lead, or someone else. It had the guy who was the uh, Game of Thrones villain at the time, as like the main villain. People didn't like it. It had Lens Reddick in it. Could have known that. R.I.P. Lens Reddick. They first experimented with video elements? Yeah. That, like, like a, is that, is that it, is that it? Is that, do I press continue now? I'll press continue now. <laughs> he didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. All right. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Going back. Saga had to pursue Nightingale. We have to go get into the overlap. To the Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Can I grab groceries? Have fun with the case. Have a good groceries. All right. Let's lay out the facts. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but 
We both know that's bullshit. Maybe not. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Looks really tired. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the Sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. So when you play a sort of like investigation style game, and it has like supernatural elements to it, the supernatural stuff comes at you in like the final half. The fact that they're exposing us to like the supernatural element at the beginning and the characters are just like, okay, supernatural shit's going on. I can imagine the shit's gonna get wild through this. Bunch of roommates, a new level of stupid. I'm a new level of stupid. Me. Eeper. All right, ready my gun. We technically do have it equipped, I guess. Do I need to mind palace right now? I've got a hell of a case for you. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Okay. Number so we can get a hold of him and he just leaves his phone in his room all the time. Kind of wacky. Okay. Don't often hear about people, uh, These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Being like one minute without their phones these days. <clears throat> oh. What else we got? Cult of a tree. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Open a new file. Here we go. Code of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. What kind of cult? Who's involved? Cult goal. <sighs> Ritual, what is it? Victim's body. He's writing part of a ritual. I'm gonna assume so. Nah. Alt necklace with triangle symbol. Who's involved? Those guys. What kind of cult? Those guys. They got symbols. Gotcha. They're also wearing masks. Triangle graffiti found around town. Put that on symbols. Legiments of supplies laid out. Nope. People who plan that's for sure. Okay.
Oh, I gotta do profiling. Let's go. Oh, we got a television screen here now. No, I, I mustn't. Okay. Eh. We actually do a weapon upgrade already. No. Pretty close, but no. Alrighty. I am not allowed to profile them yet. Okay. The page places Nightingale back at Coljan Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Gun shops, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. They're That's just terrible. immediately believing us. We'll do what we can, man. I guess they've heard this shit before, though. Like, they had to have been here last time this happened. Or maybe they're, like, new on the job. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Yeah, right. Well, that's all crazy talk. Monsters aren't real, and what do you mean the, the sheriff disappeared? Like poof? He's gone like magic? Magic's not real. I feel like there's two sweary cops and hot fuzz. You have any idea how little that narrows it down? Mm, they're a fine pair. Hey, how you doing? Ooh. Don't at me, bro. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Oh my god, we're actually calling it in. Yeah, Agent Casey here. Ace. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Welcome on in. I hope you had a lovely stream. Let me see if I got the thing working. If not, then heck. If so, then heck yeah. Hello, Officer Angle. Did they call him Angle? What the fuck? Oh, that's so weird. Huh? My chat's like... My Elgato's doing weird things that it didn't do last time. Where's the TTS Old English? It's Welsh! Same thing, I guess. But no, yeah, I'm doing great. This game's real good. I agree. I hope you had a lovely stream. It's our best lead. You, you join us just as um, we're about to go to the spooky forest to deal with the spooky individuals. The car can be used to travel. I need to control. come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. Um, Lake references. He was chasing. Oh yeah. Alan there was that DLC. I I, I really do gotta play him. Control at some point. She's writing a book on his disappearance. Just to have him. You know the detective character from his books, Alex, Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case, Casey. Murder case, Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha <laughs> ha. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. 
bodies start to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their oh. heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Did 100% Alan Wake 2 pretty easy, just a lot of backtracking. That's good to hear, actually, because uh, I remember the old Alan Wake, you have to, um, if you want to get everything, you have to play on the hardest difficulty. And you can't go back for stuff that you missed. Return to Bohart. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. Probably I'm a spooky happy dimension. I'm not in of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. So. There's a corpse in the morgue. We're a regular detective for the FBI. We've come down here. Corpse in the morgue. We've done a little examination of them. The corpse immediately springs to life, kills a bunch of people, and fucking vanishes into thin air. And our first reaction is, let's go and fucking investigate that. Because they're behind this? Or because they can see what's coming? Deal with Impossible plus, things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. Game going or some sorts. I need to understand this strange. It is just hard to see the clues. To solve the case. Maybe someday, I'll play through it. Seems stunning, by the way. That. Oh wow, wow, you yeah. Wait a minute. I've been thinking more about. refers to themselves as a cult. In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. That's a good ass point. <laughs> Anytime you hear about a cult, they're like, no, 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 we're a religious order. Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing, huh? Hello, Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Il Mokoskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me Wait, to show this guy in the woods. Ads. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna de Vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. They seem friendly, but they seem to immediately... Like, they, they seem friendly, but like 10 seconds away from snapping at all times. I'm not gonna lie. Danny was once called Jesus back in Rome. Religion just calls on a larger scale. Yeah, but like... No one in Christianity says that they're in a cult, though. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. It's actually the Federal Bureau of Control. I should have played Control. God, I should have played Control. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. 
The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. Huh? My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalanpiira. <laughs> Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Well, I need to get back to it. You got offended because we were from Sweden. How dare he? What'd you find there, Steve? I get to just poke around? Those signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is not one of ours. Fix it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report to the investigations department. Leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix these things. To fix these things. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We want to put more secure metal casing around the whole thing so that the raccoons can't get into it anymore. Yeah. We brew our own beer too. Ahma beer. Oh, now we're talking. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. Federal Bureau of Control. It's it's, it's nice playing a game where the SCP Foundation a and Universe is just over there, you know? But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know what. Not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Just seeing all this overgrown shit is so cool. How to get more flooded? Our oh, right, rain drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like home. No sign of a nightingale, but the page did place him at Cauldron Lake, in an overlap. So how do we follow oh. him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Once it do the match. worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. Doki. Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Straight up, you he was just the here. Scene one more time, KC. Just in case. On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Good eye. Okay. Bare feet. Bears! It was the bears that did it. What have we got? Footprints leading to the forest? Pretty sufficient to me. Else we got the previous murders. The cold of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cold case. Exciting. Oh fuck you, you are getting excited. 
foot of shit right now. <clears throat> this use of imagery feels almost commercial like branding. That's a curious fault. Like, if it was some kind of, like, detective novel story, that would be a big all-important thing in them. Also, why are we splitting up and looking for clues here, gang? Great fucking idea. Eh, please. Uh, am I going to the witch's house again? Ominous. Ooh, I'm frightened. I feel nervous. But on the surface, I just keep on getting the water. Where'd you go from here? I can feel something. A presence. Oh. Nightingale isn't far. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. I should have just walked this into that damn rock. And the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop. Caldera Street Station. The threshold. Like a doorway. Leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree. Which is ladle? Okay. Which would be... Straight ahead. Oh, I should have probably just looked up. I would have spied it that way. Oh shit, I'm armed now. I'm actually gun mode currently. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. Run through dark substance. That was a great idea. The flashlight burned the dark stuff away. Oh. It was covering another page. Page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga. As if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages so to the overlap. Okay, so the flashlight is giving me like four little bars on the bottom, right? Witch's hut is like up there or something. This? Oh, the fuse was in place. Gotcha. No? Not a fuse box. I like that this place has changed again. Not feel like the same place we walked through before. Huh? Or something moved that this shit. This is the witch's hut. Okay. Oh, you're so I dead. Found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking. This fuse is busted. I was gonna put a fuse nearby. This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. 
the crunkly sound behind me for real though. Got me jumpy as shit. My power of foresight, I'm getting the fuse before I get in. Uh... He said it was a safe haven, so I'm going straight in. Ba -ba -ba. Eh, I'll take a quick save. Manual save. Save slot. Another page. Hello, Making hello, progress. lovely. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Uh oh. Is that how we're going to go into crazy land? Yep. Already got the answers to these. Oh, neat. It auto solves itself. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. I take the heart. I put it through the hole in that sign. And then the witch will let me through. I'm probably going to get Nightingale's shot. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Look, like I'm sheep. I'm not sheep. Ah. Gotta profile a dead body again. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Ooh. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. Oh, I'm getting attacked at the general store. If not on the way to the general store. I need to check the general store for the heart. So Casey, we have weird spirit I'm intuition. To the store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Okay. Alright, let's run swiftly towards danger. I'm guessing this street lamp will keep me safe. Uh. Less than useful. I guess that's the game's way of saying they've got a very specific way they want me to enter these place. These place, this place. <laughs> Steady bits. A cultist. A monster. Like Nightingale. And kills will help you heal. Do I have health issues right now? Or needs his painkillers. Nah.
pretty casual about killing that guy. Saga edged toward the broken door. Her gun ready. Flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Colton Lake General Store was overgrown. Left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They'd been here. Waiting. Planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. Like it was just another late night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist. A hulking figure in a raincoat. Yeah. We watch in the night. Wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask. An axe in his raised hand. I was in fact there, I saw that one. Wait, are finding the mayor's, like, little pledge sites a fucking collectible? That's a little silly. Give me that. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. We've cranked on the far side of the mirror. I feel like okay. I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. Yay, prophecy. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. My soul says. Bag upgrade. Oh, pog. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. I'll cope with it. Oh, fuck. I went the wrong fucking way. Well, the game said save frequently, so I guess we're passing by the witch's hut anyway now. Oh shit, I didn't see that before. It's just me, I have a lot more loot opportunities opened up now. What is the deal with that meter in the bottom right? Is that a light level? Might be. Come in here, right? I uh, get fucked, idiot. Ain't a thing. The plane. Oh, 
well, well, well. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart witch. Show me the terror. Oh, she showed me magenta? in the overlap. Are you I think I'm in the way? things betwixt. Casey! Casey, do you need me? Fuck. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. Logan? Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. Mm -hmm. You're imagining things. Mm -hmm. Crazy weird visions. The writer went into the lake, banished the dark presence. Taken still lurked in the woods. The dark place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside, into the lake. Nightingale was there, one of them. The dark presence, Jagger had taken him. The witch had stolen his heart. They sank beneath the waves. The dark place, wandering in the shadows, muttering to themselves. It's dark. I'm lost. Where am I? Who am I? I can't remember. It's cold. Premium cabins for rent in Bright Falls. Who said that? Can you hear me? I need help. Please, stop this. What did I do? You must dig it out. Their shape shifted. Echoes of the writer's dreams. Fading in, fading out. The next story and the story after that. The writer was writing again. Hmm. Interesting. After the events of Alan Wake 1. All the darkness and stuff recedes. <sighs> and all of those people from 13 years ago slowly start to come out of the lake again. Starts doing ritual to him. Who is that? It's like they're coming in over a bad signal. Oh. 
Why would you ever keep going? Nightingale's patch. Like you're in a weird, creepy hellhole. Why would you keep walking forwards? Gave me ten bullets and enough, like health and stuff. We're in a metro station. What? That looks excellent. So we're in the world between worlds. I did not get a chance to read that tip. Wait, we can't get him? It means bullets won. Whatever, whatever. You're not gonna let me dodge, whatever skis. They gave me 30 bullets in that thing, though. No. Hello, lovely. And then I go. Oh. 
We got two hits in us. Yikes. I mean, that makes sense. We're dealing with a crazy big old zombie monster. Is every death just Alan Wake scribbling out the fucking last thing he wrote? Like, no, no, no. no. I had eye for this. There we go. Do we need a gun by now? Really? Alright. Make myself scared, don't I? Wait, hang on. Gotta move. Now. Hold, please. Hold, please. Thank you. I can't run. <laughs> there we go. I will be barely clinging to life, thank you very much, but I will still keep on keeping on. Nah, I'm good. Can I just keep running? I've got 30 bullets, but I don't have to fight this guy, right? supposed to fight you. That's definitely not the right way. Ow. I pressed the B to try and dodge. I hope you have an amazing stream. Thank you. I hope you have an amazing day. Hey, we got him. I 
any achievement, lawmen. I didn't find out who killed him, but I sure did kill him. Who are you? What is this? Who are you? You me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes, sir. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The d dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Alan Wake Wait? got keonified. Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. Dun, 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 dun. We get an instrumental between chapters every time. In the dark, Is this different? And is all of the music that they use in this game related to Dark? This was the first game at all? Well, in that case, I'm going to use this uh, musical interlude as a chance to just say hi to my mum real quick and get a little bit of paracetamol. I need, I need to chug my uh, horror survival game protagonist meds. order a new hammer? No, I don't need no hammer. We just, we just need, like, scale. Oh, my head. 
made it like a little TV show. I like it, like it. Ah. The presentation of this game is really good so far. Where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. A crazy forest. I'm downing some paracetamol right now. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Okay. Alex Casey. A warhammer with no hammer? Shush. <laughs> How? Am I still in... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Yeah, the P.I. from your books has the same name as me. Great. Moving on. You see, I don't want to be horrible or anything. A bit of a hike to the car, Wake. Get your bearings. But, um... You're, you're probably the P.I. from the books. If I know the way that Alan Wake works, you're, you're the same exact guy. Yeah, no, that presentation in the last uh, section. Gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any oh. connection to the overlap to Nightingale. No, that the, the, those those scenes where like you were teleporting, or like it, it it looked like reality was just fading in and stuff. The guy earlier said next stop something something station, and then you start seeing all of like these, like clips of the station and stuff, like flashing through. Main character is called Saga, and her family is Nos. She's Nos Saga. I did not understand that reference. A creepy twig sculpture? Two creepy twig sculptures. Then we Swedish. A locked box. Oh hell yeah, I'm great Is that at these. The cult you ready? Of the tree symbol on it? Easy baby. Notes and ammo. Is that a fucking fire Looks extinguisher? Like tools of the trade. And another bag upgrade. Wow, okay. The cult doesn't see their victims as people. They all look like us, but they aren't. They're like animals, and said you have to hunt them and gut them. Click. If that could be up, oh, wait, I'll never know. I wonder if this game will play a bit more on that, like, kind of Norse theming. It's weird how many themes the original Alan Wake used with very minimal payoff considering. So our boy Alan here, he's in the lake, he's writing. It's been 13 years. And now the dark presence has taken over. They're at the helm of the narrative. Don't get up that way. I was just stealing from everywhere to make his writing. It's JK Wake. Typical Wake millennials. Oh, didn't like that. Don't do that ever again.
Yeah, I was talking to my mom about it, and she was like, yeah, I'll help you build your shelf tomorrow. I was like, all right, thanks. <laughs> I'm out of my element with Ikea. Like, with the Amazon one, it was so simple. The one that I just randomly brought off of Amazon. With this fucking Ikea one, it, it, it's such, like, a headache just already. Like, the... Those little wooden bits that you're supposed to just be able to slot into place, that the holes are not big enough. Amazon one? I mean, my desk. Oh, hello, cat. Hello, beautiful. Quick turn by pressing backwards twice. Cool. I love you. You sure do. I was talking to my cat. Anything to say? Nope. Not real, are you? Oh. Oh shit, you're real. You're not like a thing. Did I bang two billies? Yes, I did. My cat's decided that my lap is gone. So we're all at the agreement that's a real dog. Real or shadow dog? Real dog or shadow dog? Shadow Demon or Regular Wolf? Real Dog. Monster dog. Shadow monster dog. Can't, no, don't headbutt my controller hand. No, can't. No. Oh. Hi, boop. Okay. And the game had the audacity to be like, maybe I should explore the other area now that it's not flooded. Like, yeah, sure, I'll just go get fucking mold to death. I'm going to the safe house first, because I'm not a dweeb. I'm a dork, not a dweeb. Alright, let's go. Quick save. Dippies. Does copy the way you save less game as well? Ghetto. No headbutts right now. I was a better streamer, I'd have bought a second webcam right now so you can have like cat cam. Aw oh, cat, you need to not headbutt my keyboard too. You, you need to not do that, can no, I No, I said no. Back. Back. Don't make me put you out, can't. <laughs> Don't make me put you down, can't. <laughs> How did I end up in the middle of a fucking camp right now? You just fucking sit down, bitch. Sit down. Back at Witch's Ladle, Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange, dark substance. The same substance Nightgale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance. A feedback loop surging up her arm. 
Huh? Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Penetrate. Burn it away. We got wide awake. Oh, it's called wide awake, like Alan Wake. Wake, wake. Alan, Alan. Oops. <laughs> ah, I gotta get my bearings. The cat has pranked me. I've been severely pranked in this trying time. Wait, what? Hello, hello. Inside stash. Okay. No stampy stamps, misses. Cat owners already know, but me telling my cat not to stamp me with her claws is not gonna do anything. I'm going to get stabbed with her claws. Reminder, cats listen, they don't care. They have like a thing in their brains that's like, mm, not interested. Base catch, a yellow perch and a mid-sized pike. Almost caught a lake tramp, but it gave me the slip. Going out of town and walking around the woods just before sunrise. Had binoculars or a telescope or something. Taking notes, didn't notice me. Good, don't need the attention. Base catch, just an old rubber boot. What about a regular creepies roaming around again? Avoid a dam as usual. No one notices a quiet old fisherman. Not even a fish. Peasants can't command the nobles. Yeah, we'll see how fucking noble you are. We'll see, we'll see how fucking noble you are next time you want fucking treats. Huh? Huh? How noble are you? She's licking my finger. <laughs> Cabin's like turbo gone, right? Hello. There's something written here. A poem? Or a riddle? Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. One bird for light, two for darkness. Three birds for a fight. Four for a struggle. Five birds for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending, whatever it may be. I don't see any birds. Oh, fuck. I need to find me some dead birds. A little clothes bindle. Oh, Perfect fuck. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. I found some birds. Something feels different. I should look around. A charm. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Oh. Tank stagger enemies oh. more often. That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. Gun. Gun. Okay. Ah. There's gonna be someone out there who's playing this game and doing that classic thing like, No! I don't want to shoot the doggy! I'm like, the gun goes brrrr. Ah, can't forget the dolls. Might need them again. Can't forget the what? Want me to go pick that shit up again? Oh, 
going down that spooky path. I'm gonna go pick up my magic doll. I will be pleasantly surprised at where I might need that doll again. Like, genuinely. When, when, when am I going to need it? Which find a station, huh? to death right Another now. Another one of those rhymes. Oh boy, here we go. The hero brave and strong, the poem to right or wrong. From the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry. Ah, you had a rhyming thing going and then you fucked it. But he ate what he found in the house without a host. Here a time to find she lost the thing she loved most. A time to right or wrong. From the woods came the wolf. Well, there's the woods, so if I find a wolf, I'll put it in there. And why is there equipment about for this? And stop being noisy. She is just a noisy cat. Do yourselves a favor and Google the loudest car ever from a cat. It's goofy. Username admin, password. Ah, uh, okay, let's see. Let's see. No. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Damn it. Oh, wait, hang on. I, I. It's code there. Project Nursery Rhymes, working title. I have received your favorable review of my personal proposal, thank you. Let me not remind you that an academic as well as recreational expertise in mythology, folklore, and writing will indeed lend needed credibility to the project in both leading it and creating testing material. Here's a promised update on the project's first experimentations to tests. Items used with plastic animal figures, teddy bears, toy cars, baby dolls, the iconography, nature of the t uh, Test items with hypothesized to be beneficial to the research purposes. Test results negative. Continue testing with... Oh my god. I'll continue testing with more advanced items and scenarios. No response from you is necessary. You're making my work today very difficult, Kato. <laughs> what the fuck are you looking so glum for, dickhead? No, not every room should have loot in it. But every room that I go into that doesn't have any loot in it, I always feel like, did I miss something? Tip of the day. When nature calls on a hike, check the direction of the wind before answering. Observations. Hikers have broken off branches of some of the trees down by lakes, making the legal fire. Try to fix some of the damage, dance the area, maybe put up more instructional signs. Also found some tranks I couldn't recognize. Pretty big. A wolverine? Or footprints that were smeared? Either way, they were wandering around in strange pens. Might be a sick animal. Keep an eye out. Home today. The sun as she sleeps. No, it's not the wolves of men. Toss and turn and worry and fret. Wish they had her blissful slumber. Observations picked up a bunch of trash left by tourists despite post guidance. The worst. 725. Oh. What a day! Every majestic pine was once just a wee acorn. Observations, a lot of new growth in the area. Some of the saplings I planted earlier are really thriving. Must be the rain. I don't mind it either. Sounds great to sleep too. 
amazing what a good night's rest and a warm cup of tea can do. Is that my cat? Ow. Kibbity. Literally kibbity. Rest easy, buddy. Why do you keep touching the fucking... Stop it. Something happened back there and it sure wasn't me. Ooh. Research into the reality altering effects discovered in the Cauldron Lake area utilizing fiction and art as a source have been manifesting the results into existence. Methodology. The FBC's intent in this research project is to experiment with nursery rhymes, here and after referred to as fiction, in an attempt to recreate the conditions under which the writing would become reality. Hypothesis is that there are two ways in which fiction affects reality, either by reflecting events that have come to pass, but that are not known to their later creator, whose act or creation therefore becomes the catalyst of these past events, after which they serve as the source of which their own inspiration, or by the fiction itself being the initiating force in its present timeline, using creator as a conduit. In the experiment, we will create nursery rhyme texts with a specific function, and then use the depicted dolls and symbols as needed via a careful testing process with the purpose of the story told in the fiction manifesting itself in real life. A variety of combinations involving adult symbols and rhymes will be tested in order to collect large amounts of data. We have the hope that a pattern will appear. Efforts will be adjusted with the testing based on results. So the FBC is over here just fucking like, ah, let's throw some shit at it. Really? The toilet that just faces fucking... Unbelievable. Got a wolf up here? Ah, oh, we got the hero doll. And the wolf. Aroo. Which find the station streamside Cauldron Lake rental cabins. Can I use these? Unlike the board? Don't pull that. Nursery rhymes. Creepy dolls. Mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Oh. What are these and who made them? By the FBC. Put a strange doll up there at least. There we go. The FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. And that always goes well. Does it? What do you know about the FBC or something? Okay. I do appreciate that you can just ram things at these. I don't have to think too hard. Boop. Oh. This is like another collectible we can do. Or just maybe like a side puzzle. Okay. Oh. 
Well, that was creepy. Who's fucking around down here? Is something to say to me, you fucks? Okay, so. Hero brave and strong left home to right a wrong. Left home. Her time to find she lost the thing she loved most. Ate what he found in the house without a host. I don't know. Keep trying. Oh. No. Hmm. Hero brave and strong. Left home to right or wrong. Woods came the wolf, so greedy and hungry. Ooh, wolf. And here's the hero leaping home. Oh. I have a weird feeling something's changed. Okay, but that could be a lot of things. What is this? Oh. Oh, damn. Oh. Another charm for my bracelet. I have to give me a tutorial every time, you know, game. Save from death, but shatters in the process. Yeah. Use it on the final boss. It'll be like, this isn't even my final form kind of moment. I like what they're playing at up here. The FBC. It's clever. They're just fucking car, around. Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. Oh. Is it enough manuscript? An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. Uh -huh. A story of a lawman whose same. heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements oh, working in conjunction made so a trickle bad. that became a torrent, a wormhole, I feel so a vortex, right now. and the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality, a blanket over it, where they all overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. Okay. Okay, still no weapon upgrades. No profiling or anything. We can string up a bunch of evidence, though, I'm sure. Not remaining cultists to victims are like animals. <sighs> Dang. So good at my damn job. I'm gonna be the very best for by agent. The B.I. in FBI stands for bisexual. I think. Oh. Is that a birdhouse? 
No. That's a house. I was going to regret not shooting it. The yeah, stands for Fanboy Intelligence. Well, this is news to me. No one tells me nothing. An area that we have to crouch under slowly makes me feel like I'm going to get attacked here. Yes, Miriam and Matt, thanks for the lovely hike. Eddie, came down to New York City and loved every minute of the trip. Laurie and Bob, these paths have seen better days. Kev, nice views you got here. Look up, may I suggest adding some nice rest stops along the way? Camping do's and don'ts, your friendly park ranger. Do, hike and enjoy the scenery, set up your tent, enjoy a nice meal and relax. Don't, chop down trees, leave your trash behind, be loud and obnoxious to start a forest fire. I remember, always have fun. only reason to come in here, huh? Ooh. This is a safe room, isn't it? Yeah. Quick save. Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Feral maniacs uh -huh. living in the woods. Satanists chanting, we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forest. Or things not quite human lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story. But they all shared one important element. Danger in the dark. In the woods. Somewhere among all the urban legends lay a secret truth. The real identity of the cultists prowling in the woods. Real faces hid behind the masks. Real hands held the knives. Real people fulfilling a grim purpose. The forest was not safe. People were right to keep their children away from the trees. Okay. I wonder if the cultists are like real, real? Or um, if they were just a story and the lake made from real. And, like, that's why they seem so, like, quote, perfect as a cult, you know? There's a rhyme over here. Because they were made up. Mother Crow sits in her nest. Oh. Guarding her babies, doing her best to protect her home from the beast coming to feast. Only the hero, brave apart, can keep the two apart. Hero, brave apart. Beast coming to feast. Okay. Well, something changed. Always changes. From where? Oh. It's me. I'm the hero, brave and strong. That's the crow's nest. Another charm. Good thing Logan made me this bracelet. Oh, no, wait, he was supposed to be the beast. Okay. 
I don't like that it's just circling me. I don't like enemies that just circle you. Playing Elden Ring and fighting any enemy that fucking rides a horse. You just do this for ten fucking hours. At least they stand still before they attack. second bullet every time, am I? Yeah, get out of here, you bozo. Okay, so... Kind of weird how the leak works. It does just manifest things. It's another big implication here is that the um, the dark presence is just something else that came in use for Lake. Like it's not even. Uh, Like, the, the lake is just a neutral entity. It's not about the lake, it's about how you use it, question mark. <laughs> Let's based on creativity. Oh, man. I write so many stories about me getting rich. No, seriously, what else would you write? No. That in it. Basically, I accidentally create the long legs. There's no accidents when it comes to the long legs. Oh, oh, oh. I know that thing. More of those kids' lunch boxes. And this means we can upgrade. Look down at rippling water, the moonlight danced over each and every little wave. Watching the bend of shimmering light. Long and cold, I hugged myself inside. I thought of him. The surface of the lake calmed. Like a spectral surprise, he was there, his face smiling at me, reflected in the water. I looked up, not daring to believe it was true. But it was true. He was there, my love, my savior, my writer. But the people who are leaving these lunchboxes behind are actual just fucking Alan Wake cultists. Magazine sign. Oh, fuck me! Dude! Ah, oh, that's so fucking mean. It's weird because I can just fucking leave this thing. It, it takes like five bullets to kill it. If I get just direct shots.
There we go. I don't care if it's a waste of bullets. That dog had to die. I feel better about myself because of it. Quick save on the way out. Quick save on the way out. Hold up. I have two little question marks here. Point of interest. <laughs> I'll see about that. Uh, which way do we go, actually? Double check. God. Why does the map load like that? That's kind of obnoxious. Oh, it has to start all blurry and shit. Bing. And back on the 9 to 5 grind. I just need one mental note. I just walk forwards. So that's it. Okay. I walk it forwards, I be it there. There's a point of interest about here. Okay, that's in game. <laughs> Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. Okay. Lady Fortuna. Lady Fortuna. Oh, the cash register? 705, 714, 723. I'm reading Crystal Ball Gazing in Tree. It's not 723. Oh. This is a maths puzzle, but I don't I don't good at maths. Five, thirteen, seventeen, twenty-three. Okay. Thirty-nine. Seven thirty-nine, right? If we're going by pens. Yeah. Shotgun. That's useful. Was that puzzle always there? To be solved? Do not give me enemies to test this on. You are not authorized. I'm so authorized. Now come here. Dropped bullets? They have not all been dropping bullets, have they? Ah. Oh. What if the guys are still here at work? Maybe they got slaughtered. 
Oh. Oh, their sensor station must have picked something up. I hope this game ends with us crawling ourselves out of the lake after fighting whatever big huge boss it is. And then like the director of the Federal Bureau of Control shows up. And I character says something lame like, what took you so long? Activity detected. Event in Warning. progress. Activity detected. A W E. Event in progress. Cauldron Lake. What's an A W E? Casey, what exactly does the FBC do? After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I uh -huh. pushed them for any files they had on him got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. They have a presence here, and now we find our writer. How about that? A.W.E. The Alan Wake event. <laughs> I really gotta play that. Wake experience. That's the one. You know, looking back, that could have been their big teaser. By the way, we're making Alan Wake 2. It might actually have been their big teaser. I don't know. I didn't fucking play it. Alan, Alan. Just, oh, fuck. Has is a hellmuth teased riding. I knocked some shit around. over. I'm good. I'm good. Oops. There we go. Wait, that's raid. Don't. Oh. Wait. Is it gonna work? Oh, fuck. I fucked it. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. That's not working. Ah, oh, the Elgato is broken. Got annoyed at tutorial, so your rage quit stream. Understandable. You ready to go? I almost fucking stopped playing Chrono Cross because of that. <laughs> Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. It's aesthetic as fuck, by the way. Hey, Mom, before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hon. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She what do you mean a slight concussion? Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's, uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Want to say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. So after all that shit about the kid almost dying, the, the kid, oh my god, they're doing it again. They're doing it again, these freaks. That's creepy. you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger, it'll come for me. 
Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently, but your name can still be made out underneath. Looks sound like wants to be David Lynch. <laughs> scratched out. Boy. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a crazy jumble, like a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. violent. Swapping over to Alan. We are. Oh. I a talk show tonight? Waking oh. up in places with no memory of how I got there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? They cut away right at the old gods of Asgard. Oh. Set for this? Come on, come on, sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> oh man, it is so good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. But tell me, does it ever get old? Sorry, does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliff. I pray. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A, a, an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. <laughs> okay. You got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, uh, sad to say, I, uh, I've not written this. 
I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or a really crazy Maybe interlude. Written by your evil double. <laughs> well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten. He has written. Feels like they could have released this as the trailer to the game. It might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right. Alex Casey is in this book as well. Ugh. I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously, I found the, uh, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. Wait, what's the I show called? As successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narratives. Expecting to disappear once the scene ends. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Hello? I'm a wee I'm little confused it. baby Something's boy and I'm here. going to leave. I needed to get home to Alice. Wait. The show is called the In Between with Mr. Door. Some kind of joke? Initiation? We're in the In Between. I never wrote gotcha. a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Old Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Interpretation of many worlds. Hi. You should call Mr. Door. You can change your name. Three digit password to leave. Hey! I think I've been locked in! Anybody! Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Great. That is game encoded. Oh, the code might be 665. That, oh, that's just a thing. It's a three digit code, so. Well then. <laughs> Thank your pardon. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. Hi. You're deep on the Mr. Astro train now? I mean, you can always have multiple names. Satan can get away with it. Why can't you, you know? Even now he's talking past hands. Ooh, suits. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. Um. 
wait for that to get out of This is the ritual to beat you all. Waking up from the nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. <laughs> Draft one. <laughs> a plot board for mapping out a story. Which was the name of the novel? <laughs> Torture in game one, which you forgot about, just you find the pages of. Okay. A summary of the story so far, but other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Well, at least he's got radio here. You gotta start in the beginning. I don't know if people say bless you take ups. Hey, why not? I'll at least not get the plague now. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room. Okay. Deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. During that scene, they vibrate the controller once, and it was for like a fraction of a second. Thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Welcome back. Uh, we have a great show. this bit is linked to Control tonight. DLC. Oh, I'm too stupid. Alex Casey fans out there. Alex Casey himself is here tonight. That's right. Sam Wright, ladies and gentlemen. The actor who has given his face to the famous detective in the film series. And of course, we have Alan Wake here. Best coming writer, books, Films are based on. Let's do this! Can't say that on Twitch. Hard boiled, not just eggs. The hard boiled diet. <laughs> Those look like real brands. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I, I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Uh, he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you've voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more. Oh my god, he's Max game. Payne? Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Oh, let's go. This is going to be classic. Do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah. Just roll it. Oh my god, he is Max Payne. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, the 
there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain slick window. My own reflection. This is a shit trailer. View. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing that shed light on this sordid mystery. Great, murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? <gasps> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Back in Spookyville. Oh, this way this time. You can't stop me. Oh shit, all roads lead to Rome, huh? Joshy, quick, when was the last time you thought about Rome? Bandit Ferret, thank you for the fifteen months. I love you, El. El, we're in the crazy zone. Well, it's still the same as it was before. El, when was the last time you thought about Rome? It was moving now. Oh, I'm gonna get attacked by the Cove's monster. Alright, Alan, this time with Gusto. Hit that door and hit it hard. Oh. evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good oh. to see you. Oh my god, it's the fucking janitor for... Oh. Wait, what? What? Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the dive. more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> Last game. Have we met? Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti? The janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. Okay. What do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a man's a man, but the man with the two makes two, Tom. <laughs> and a man with the two can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. 
<laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Thanks, buddy. B win control two? Question mark? I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. Awa, awa. I you know, often think just about it when I'm up oh, the floor and Mom's on a year street. Thanks, Mom. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. In a year? The janitor was a bit out there. Oh, God. But still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. There we go. <laughs> this is weird, man. This is just a lot of weird. Well, Alan Wake is a tall fucker. Alan Wake is built. He's like no writer I've ever seen. Usually they're like fucking 70 years old and dying. It's over the stall, good pooping. Are you shitting good in here? about the lights too. The fuck? Shoe box, lights, bada bing, bada boom. An old lamp and a shoe box. But all Was this what the janitor had left lamp? for me? But you recognize that as a lamp? That's a magic wand. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. Uh -huh. It held the light now. Best. I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. The glow in the lamp was kind of fucking sick. Shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. Not play this game I needed to lost. find another way out. Dangerous tier of mood. My ass was on the way to rethink the janitor. <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> Which was cut from. This place is a nightmare. 
Not real, and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral in the darkness. I dive to the body to find the answer, the map, the key, the compass that's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean, that's not an ocean. And a lake, that's not a lake. Dun, 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 dun. It was a kind of short part, but then again, I was wandering around all the other ones like a fucking blind mule. Musical interlude. I'm liking this game a lot so far. Oh, wait, I didn't skip. No. Get me back. Don't stop me. From my musical interlude. There we go. Annoying cheap noise ruining the mood. Lame epic games. So while in week one happens, Guy finds like a mysterious... God, he's the perfect disaster in the wrong place at the wrong time, isn't he? So he's a writer who's got writer's block. So his wife takes him to a cabin in the middle of nowhere with a typewriter and she's like, Hey, you go, babe, you can... You can you can rest here, but if you want, you can do this. And he's like, "No, I've got writer's block. I don't want to write right now. I just want a holiday." And she's like, "Oh, okay." Anyway, fast forward to dead wife. Alan, Alan fucks everything up. And then then he's stuck in the lake forever. And he's now using this weird eldritch creation power to try and escape him. I wonder if the writers of the game have actually thought of like a legit way to like get through this in like an eldritch sort of means, or if it's just gonna be like mystery wrapped on mystery wrapped on cool set pieces. What's the whole thing? Quick save. Oh shit, we've got a saving mechanic going right now. Damn it. Two box? Oh. So we're just playing as Alan Wake now. York? Hello? Hello, Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. 
I got to get out. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? A detective? Sounded like Detective Casey. So, like, we're inside of like an Eldritch Lake. Oh. The man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. Yeah, I better not, huh? If there's anything else that sort of stands out. Yeah, it seems like a safe place to go. Oh. Cannot walk in that direction. The Caldera Street station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. Can't suck out that light. Brightest room slash of the dark place. Nice that Alan gets his own hub. Also, a thank fuck for these little question marks showing me the way. Ah. out of my special happy room. Oh. All this, but still not a single weapon. It could not be opened on the side. Alan Beck in the, like, present day is just like, and then I tried a gate, and it wouldn't open. So then I kept walking down the street. I saw a red line, and I passed by it. I'm not here. You're imagining things. It was locked I'm crazy the right here. I'm awake till... I'm asleep. I'm not gonna lie, this entire stream has been pre-recorded. Even the part where I had Smith come in and say that so I could respond to it. I just wanted to have, like, a good sleep today, but also stream on time, so I decided I'd pre-record the whole thing. When you loving me with foresight? See, I, I, I asked L to say that at that exact time so that, like, I could respond to it. 
It's all just the powers of precognition. Even the part where I shake left and right. So it's all pre-recorded and pre predetermined. Thing cheat on us? Uh no. I have zero respect for cheaters. I would never. The city was not real. I was limited to the confines of the dream. Really see those confines right now, not gonna lie. Shaking to wake you up. Being in a coma for 13 minutes. If that or just sleeping. I've been honk schnoof for 13 minutes. Yeah, that's a good amount of sleep. Wee! You recorded three hours of watching Dog 2 of you all in? It would have been like two hours, but I forgot to install the game I was going to fucking play. <laughs> then we had to torture ourselves with more really shit writing. The episode of the submarine was at least not terrible. He cheated GTA? If it's GTA 5, then it deserves to be cheated in. It'll make the game more fun. Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door Show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey, looking into a murder. Come on, what? What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. Uh huh. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? Wake has the ability to like zorp in and out of his room like this. I had to follow Casey. I needed that light. <coughs> ah, goodness. But like, so does the main character. And it leads to wandering like. Oh, you can see little dots out there. And the main character and Alan Wake going through the same thing, because the, the main character's basically fucking got superpowers. She can I see things. Dying in this alley in the dream I had. He was just gonna keep killing me here. Loop by loop. You're not gonna get what you want. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really wanna know. You're gonna get what's coming to you. Okay. Da 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 da. <laughs> this was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. 
back in the saddle, baby. I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. Shit. With the alley in darkness now, restless shadows block my way. No? Oh, we'll just be passing through it. It's fine. Subway entrance now. Yeah. Got a bowl of clam chowder in your brain for some reason feels better. Today I learned clam chowder makes your brain feel good. New lord just dropped everybody. Oh. I like these tall subways. They make me happy. It's a good bit of design. Don't write. The graffiti literally says don't write. Okay. But what if I wanna? What if I just really wanna? Roast spicy sushi to clear your sinuses? I didn't know they made spicy sushi. Spicy sushi, spicy sushi, spicy sushi, spicy sushi. I don't know if you were going to come at me, right? Sushi, spicy sushi. Gonna cook sushi? No. There was something hidden here. A phrase repeated over and over. The words resonated with meaning. Had I written this? Words of power. I don't think they're gonna make a skibbity toilet DLC, but I'll be the first to play it if they do. An Alex Casey film. The worst case. Never here. Boop, boop, boop. 
We did miss a thing or two, it looks like. Well, in that case. Better come back and take another look. This is what y'all's American police car sounds like. That could resolve the situation peacefully. A W E. Word of gun. Ooh. I've seen chance not to consume bullets. Now, words of gun indeed. What's about over here then? Nothing? Lies? Not lies. Hello, I'm a little baby boy and I need some healing, please. I'm better now. Oh fuck, that is my health. Fine. I'm just a little silly. Works, works, works. Word of war. I was dealt by the last bullet. Double barrel shotgun. Sent mix health on landing a direct hit with a flag gun. We don't have no flag gun. This is interesting that we got this fucking Alan campaign. Alan. Oh fuck. Could have been here and here. I might go back if I get the chance then. for no oil billionaires. Okay. I forgot which way to go. Now I know. Call them the oily ones. I asked you this once before, Joshi. I'll ask you it again. Who the fuck is we? <laughs> Fringe guy named Ui.
Call him the greasy beastie. Who's we? Josh, you remind me of a really obnoxious joke I heard recently. It's like, ah, oh, I just got back from France. I gotta ask. I, I didn't. I didn't know who this Vu fellow was. I was like, Vu? Who the fuck is Vu? Like, I don't know. But every time I like talk to someone, they'd always be like, see, you should go see Vu play. Be a great musician or something. Oh, ghetto. Don't you yawn at me. Can I use that? <sighs> Wanna put me and you together and make us? You're gonna get among us? Stop fucking headbutting the keyboard, I swear to god. <laughs> oh god. I was gonna say, I'm gonna align it to you, but I don't, I don't remember. Is, is she the one who threw her animal? She had like this cat or something, or like dog, and she just like picked it up and yeeted it over her shoulders. I remember who it was. It's like a few years back or something. Just so gave her cat vodka. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm, I'm not giving my cat vodka. I'm too much of an alcoholic to waste booze on a cat. Apparently there's summit down here. The live stream for some reason. Ah. Damage dealt to enemies in close proximity. I'll, I'll just have to sprint down most of my enemies. I can't believe I missed these. These are probably just the spare wards that I didn't pick up. This game got me saying shit like, I'm gonna go pick up the spare wards now. Do 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 da 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 Echo to the alleyway My health situation? Wow, I'm gonna die in like two hits. And you can fuck off. Yeah. That's what I thought. Such things that I'm waiting. Uh. 
Oh, my cat keeps clicking my fucking mouse. I didn't realize she was just reaching over and grabbing it. Blood of Fix. Max health. Well, that's just fucking easy. Yoink. What do you want from me? To not grab that immediately? Interesting. So Alan only gets the ability to upgrade himself. But the FBI lady gets the ability to upgrade her weapon. Nifty. Probably play till the end of this chapter and wrap up streams today. I don't know when that wrap up will be. But whenever we're out of uh, this chance, though, probably then. What chapter number are we on? I don't know, but I feel like we haven't made that much progress. It's a fix. Or HP, please. Alright, now we gotta do is enter Caldera Street Station. Also, plot. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Alan. I don't know what chapter number we're on, but I know it's called Casey. Off of me, Subway. I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. Let's go borrow the old one, shall I? Bitches be like, with me, I bring light. I'd be like, I'm, I'm taking this. You day up your sushi order to $45, you get $5 off. Then I'd be spending more money. That's gonna cost $45 for sushi? The gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket. let me open that specific locker if there was going to be nothing in it. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. 
a half-forgotten memory. An echo. Inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. I had a location. I had a story. The dog place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. Oh. oh. The person graffiti that just spawned. That's kind of good. The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way forward. The Fed had glimpsed into the maw of darkness. It swallowed him whole. Did what to his hole? The trail continued deeper into darkness. Perfectly fine. Leave me alone. Leave me to my lotion. Ooh, crime scene thingy. Looks like a safe room. It is a safe room. Okay, well, considering I'm safe, I'm probably gonna wrap up here actually because I'm a sleepy baby boy. Mm. And I gotta move those two planks of wood into the other room along with all the nails and equipment. Because I've got two shelves to build tomorrow. <laughs> and if you think I'm streaming tomorrow after building two shelves, I might. <laughs> well, thank you for stopping by. I really like Alan Wake though, it's pretty good. I would, um, I would. Ah. Uh, oh god, my chest. Why are you killing me? I love you all. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Mom, unless you have two shelves, I got one on the left in the desk, and I put one on the right in the desk. Give me little two shelves. But no, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye, you dweebs.